Good day. This is Dr. Joseph Pisano from MuseTech.net. And today I'm excited to bring to you an overview of an incredible iPad application for musicians entitled APS Music Master Pro. APS Music Master Pro is currently available for the iPad, but as of this recording in July of 2011, the iPhone version is in development. APS Music Master Pro was developed by APS Development LLC and is presented by the CL Barnhouse Company. I was very excited to be a large part of the development of this particular application. Upon opening this application, you will be presented with what appears to be a very colorful circle of fifths. And indeed it is a circle of fifths, with the exception of an outer ring that contains the names of the various modules and tools that comprise the APS Music Master Pro program. What's very cool about this circle of fifths is that simply by pressing any of the chords, the buttons that have the chords names on them, you can hear the chords themselves. As this is an overview video, we will be spending just a short amount of time on each of the modules. The modules included in the APS Music Master Pro program are a tuner, a metronome, an audio recording program, a stopwatch, a glossary section, a PDF annotator, a notepad, calendar, and internet. The reason that we've included the notepad, calendar, and internet into this particular program is so that you do not have to leave the APS Music Master Pro program in order to access those features. One of the thoughts was, when we developed this program, was that the notepad and calendar and internet features are accessed quite frequently, so in order to save the user time, rather than having to leave the APS Music Master Pro program, go out into those programs, use them, close them, and come into the APS Music Master Pro program again, we could include those and eliminate the need for having to do that. We'll start the overview by looking at the tuner module. The tuner module is a chromatic tuner that allows you to tune any instrument and in addition to that has a pitch pipe feature. By clicking the sound on button, we can change the volume and click any of the note names on the pitch pipe. We can change the octaves as well. We can hear the various pitches. The chromatic tuner allows you to calibrate from A420 to A460 but defaults to A440. The next module we'd like to look at is the metronome. The metronome feature on here allows you to have five presets. You can change the amount of beats per minute from 20 up to 250. You can change the pulse cycles or the per bar pulse cycles from 1 to 8. You have individual volume control and you may also mute the audio so that you can have a visual only mode. The next module we'd like to look at is the audio module. The audio module allows you to make audio recordings and one of the awesome features of the APS Music Master Pro program is that upon recording and saving the recording you can very very quickly and easily email the recording to various parties. The audio recorder allows you to to choose from different three different recording qualities low standard and best with best being a CD quality type of recording as we select each one of those you'll see that the recording time numbers change as well and this will vary depending upon how much room is left on your iPad as far as memory space and the recording quality recording quality that you select you can choose your mic level and in addition to that there is a decibel meter that shows you if you're if you're recording something too low or too loud Right now I'm recording, you can see the meter move up and down. If I get very close to the microphone, you can see that it changes as well to make you aware that you may be clipping your recording. Upon stopping the recording, you will be prompted to save the recording. Once I do that, it will appear in my list. I have some options in my list to export those. This is the export button. It brings me to an email feature with the recording attached. I simply put in who I would like to send that to or whom I would like to send that to. And it goes. Another cool feature of the audio program is that it has direct access to the particular iPad's iPod library, so you may 
again, without having to leave the program, pull up any, any song or composition in your library and play it. Next, we'll be taking a look at the stopwatch. The stopwatch has very simple features, start, stop, save, and reset, but is very useful for recording the length of a particular song or composition or of a group set or of a concert. Simply click stop, you'll be prompted for the recording. Like the audio module, we can export this entire list through email so that we do not have to write down what the recordings are, but we can be presented with a table of all the recordings that we have made. One of the interesting features, and uh, in my mind, a very useful feature is that there's also a top navigation bar that appears for each module. From that top navigation bar, you can access the built-in notepad feature. From here, you can simply take in notes and save them, close it, go back to them anytime that you would like to without leaving the APS Music Master Pro program. The top nav bar also allows you to go back to the home screen and includes the quick link button to the APS Music Master Pro information where you can follow news from APS Development Company via Twitter, Facebook, or RSS feeds. The next module that we're going to look at is the Glossaries module. The Glossaries module includes fingering charts, instrumental ranges and transpositions, music terms and translations, score order, and vocal ranges. I'm going to very quickly pull up the fingering charts. From here you have three categories, brass, strings, and woodwinds. I'm going to show you an example of the flute fingering chart. From here you can use iPad gestures to make it larger or smaller and you can zoom around the page to find exactly the fingering that you're looking for. Con Selmer Incorporated at con-selmer.com was gracious to include their fingering charts in the APS Music Master Pro program. Down the side of the glossaries you have some quick navs which includes direct access to the help manual of the APS Music Master Pro and all of the other contents. Next we're going to take a look at the score PDF module which allows you to open up any PDFs that may be in your particular application and mark them up. So I'm going to pull up a uh, marking of something that I was working on. Uh, this is a score of Whither Must I Wander and you can see on here that we have some annotations already on here so I'm going to add some more. I'm going to go ahead and click on the pen, choose green and I'm going to circle this entrance on here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the highlighter. I'm going to pick a purple highlighter. I can change the width of that high cut highlighter. I can make it a small or thin. Upon doing that, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the mallet entrance in here. And we can have undo features and redo features. And you can simply move to other pages by hand gestures as well. If I go back here, this is my score PDF sorter where I also have the app, um, the ability to make folders. I can make group sets on here, include the PDFs that I would like in each individual folder and be able to categorize, categorize um, in those ways. Finally, we're going to take a look at the last couple of modules in here. We have the calendar module, which integrates directly with your default calendar. I'm going to pull this up here. This is the month of July, as you can see in here. I have some things for Bandcamp and picking out music. There's uh, very simple to, to enter your data into this, and it syncs with the default calendar of the iPad. Finally, we'll be looking at the Internet module by choosing it from the Quick Nav bar at the bottom of the APS Music Master Pro application. You may browse to any URL simply by clicking the top address bar box and entering in the URL information via the keyboard. If you browse to a PDF through the web browser, the internal web browser, you will be able to save this as a PDF directly to the SCORE PDF module that's part of the APS Music Master Pro program. You may also copy the link or open any particular web URL into the Safari browser. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this overview and that you will consider purchasing and utilizing the APS Music Master Pro program. It's available at the Apple Store today. Again, I'm Dr. Joseph Pisano.